yeah hey guys welcome back to versatile knowledge and in this video i will be talking with you guys about how you can install the gcam version 7 on any of your oneplus devices well this method works only on the oneplus 3 and above the oneplus 1 and oneplus 2 doesn't support this method because it's kind of really old for gcam to be supported it works on oneplus 3 oneplus 5 oneplus 5t it works on the oneplus 660 7 7 pro 70 and 70 pro and the download link for this will be in the description and now let's go ahead and check out how you can install the gcam on any of your oneplus devices as you guys can see this is my oneplus 6 device and i'll be taking this device as a reference to show you guys how you can install the gcam 7.0 version it is actually a website download link as you guys can see this is uiupdate.com and there is the direct download link inside that website as well so if you go ahead and check out that there are a lot of download links for your respective smartphone in case you have a oneplus 7 or oneplus 70 smartphone just click on download here and you'll be taken to this link which is actually Celeso Azevedo which is actually our Gcam Urnix developer link and there you can find different Gcam ports and one thing to note is the installation process of this APK is as simple as installing any other third party APK. Once you download the APK from the link in the description you have to just go to the settings and turn on install from unknown sources and once you do that you can just go ahead and install your APK. As you guys can see, I've already installed my Gcam 7 on my OnePlus 6 device and it has been installed successfully. Just go ahead and open this. Once you open the app for the first time, it asks you for the permission, allow camera to take pictures and record video. Click on allow and you have to just click on allow while using the app and click on allow again and allow and all our permissions has been given successfully. As you guys can see, this is the general user interface of the Gcam 7 for OnePlus 6 device and this is actually same as any gcam 7 version there is option for camera there is camera portrait option there is option for night sight there is option for video and there is more option now let's go ahead and check out what are the settings that is present in the camera options once you just scroll down from the top you will get the options that is present for your camera as you can see we have hdr hdr plus and we have the hdr advanced option present if you click on H this option you will enable the hdr advanced or hdr enhanced and this is the hdr plus they have timer option we have the flash option and we have full image and once you go to the video tab and scroll down from the top we have 30 fps or 60 fps video capture and let me keep it to 60 fps because the video will be more smoother and we have the flash option and if we go to the more option as you can see there is the panorama mode the photosphere mode the slow motion and also we have the time lapse mode once we come to the portrait mode tab we can actually see there are options that is present such as face retouching which has options such as natural off and also smooth face retouching and also we have the hdr mode options now let's go to the settings of this camera application and we'll check out what are the options that you you have to actually set to take some amazing photographs on your oneplus device as you guys can see these are the settings that is present inside this settings application of gcam 7 there is option to save your camera location there is option to enable the camera sounds or disable the camera sounds there is option for google lens suggestion framing hints save selfie as previewed and there is social share option we have the gestures option and we have the grid options and as you guys know that grid actually has to be set to 3 cross 3 to help you to just frame your pictures properly and there is option to turn on the frequent faces if you turn on the frequent faces when you take motion photos or touch and hold for top shot frequent faces recommends shots that prioritize people that you photograph the most and when you go to the advanced mode over here there is options of show dirty lens warning just turn it on there is option of hdr control you have to turn it on there is option for raw plus jpeg control as well there is this option called pixel white balanced in hdr plus enhanced click on this option and set it to pixel 3 enable astrophotography this is a very important mode that will help you to take amazing sky shots in the night side mode this is actually a feature that was introduced in pixel 4 smartphone that helped you to take some amazing night photographs of the sky and there is this option called auxiliary camera enable second camera and third camera but since oneplus 6 only has two cameras that is one is a normal lens and second is a depth sensor i actually suggest you to turn off these options because once i turned on these options the app started to crash 
crash and it never opened again. These are the settings that you have to do for photo mode. Now going back, there is a camera photo resolution. Just click on that and set it to full resolution and then enable Google Photos. And then there is the video option which says ultra high resolution 4K. Just click on that and video stabilization, turn it on. Now let's come to the scenario where you have to use the Google camera. So Google camera actually brings out the best in terms of the faces, in terms of colors, in terms of night photographs. Night sight has been one of the best features of Google camera since its inception and hence it is recommended to use this Google camera for conditions such as taking raw photographs or taking high quality photographs and editing them in post production. And it does also help you to take some great macro photographs and also helps you to take some great night shots better than the stock camera that is present in your OnePlus device. OnePlus stock camera is actually very improved when compared to the last generations. But since this is an old device which is OnePlus 6 smartphone, this camera comes with some limitations which can be fulfilled with the help of the Google camera application. Now let's go ahead and check out some camera samples that has been taken using the Google camera 7 on this OnePlus 6 device. You hurt me, you did, several times It hurts to admit that we're no different I find it hard to commit But you don't even try Still I'm better with and without you This will give you guys an idea of the stabilization at 4K 60fps. This is the 4K 60fps video sample guys, taken on Gcam. This is completely handled, it is not using any gimbal or something. So that's it for this video guys. If you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content ahead. Thank you for watching guys.